once he was settled, he decided he needed a wife. So he went back to Switzerland, to his home village. He married the daughter of his intended when he left in 1878. He married her in the daughter who was 17 years of age. He was 42 and that was in 1901. And he came back to California by himself. She followed and arrived non-English speaking, landed in San Francisco and took the train to Santa Barbara County to the home ranch. Mm, that's amazing. I started visiting the, the Mormon Church's uh, family history centers and I spent lots of weekends on many lines and one night I also volunteered. One night I uh, was just plugging in uh, town names and Jamalio popped up and I had no idea that it was all on microfilm and I dropped everything and uh, ordered the films six weeks later. I've been doing it, uh, studying those films every weekend for five years together at the uh, Festa Nacional, uh, you know, once a year maybe. Uh, some Festa Schwitzera. Sometimes we'd go to each other's houses to visit on Sunday after church, you know. But uh, uh, growing up Swiss in the house, uh, we spoke only dialect and uh, that was my first language. It was overwhelming the first time that we traveled to Switzerland. My father always talked about wanting to go, never was able to do it because he inherited the dairy and the ranch and he couldn't leave. Uh, it was absolutely breathtaking and I went through so many different emotions driving up the valley and that was in 1993. We have gone back to Valley Maja uh, almost every two years since.